much for peace. Softer than a whisper. Is that blood? No, never mind.
One day, I'll catch a break.
Still alive. So that's progress. have a lot on my mind, and, well, in it. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastan? Are no Zalkir, but are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? Acceptable, finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? To survive, you seek power. Be welcome. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. Mazora serves Zariel, the Archduchess of the Hells. Why would you sell your soul to her? I'd be hunting devils and demons, Mazora said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not people like you. I swear I didn't know. I'm sorry, Karlak. Warlock pacts tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. I'd count my lucky stars for it, but I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. An actual hero. One of the few. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. It could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory.
My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Please don't open the creepy book. We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out where anyone could stumble across it. You feel better the second the book is out of your hands. The voices return, louder, stronger, commanding you to stop. But they have no hold on you. All you have to do is strike. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Expect more than your word. Show me your flesh. Spoken with the confidence only a true soul could muster. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. I've no use for the Absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. I 
I twice played serenade to my ears, my tasty kibble. We have a bargain. Take my bone horn. One blow, and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We follow the scents of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn.